Now, welcome to the case study related to the toxicological aspect. Now, here we will discuss the two cases. One is Sueso, another one is the Bhopal. Now, why these uh, accidents are important? The reason is that uh, uh, unlike uh, 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 fire and explosion, now these uh, toxicological uh, accidents, they are having a long term impact. So, the impact is uh, divided in two fold. One is the immediate impact when a um, uh, few, a couple of fac uh, fatality or in, uh, uh, small amount of injury may take place and sometimes the injuries are not there because uh, they may become the part and the, the toxic and they may become the part and parcel of uh, your body system through inhalation, dermal absorption, etc. And sometimes these uh, toxicants, they are having a very vital role because sometimes they may cha even change the genome, gene character of uh, body. So, they may have a long term impact on the human. Now, as far as the environment is concerned, then they may have a larger impact because the soil, air, water, they may get contaminated over the period of time. So, whenever those people, um, those who are using the, the soil, maybe in terms of growing the vegetables uh, or vegetations, etc., or they are using the groundwater, they may be get contamination over the period of time. So, they are having the la, uh, long term impact. So, that is why these uh, the toxicological accidents, uh, they should not be looked into that how many fatalities are there, but they should be looked into terms of that uh, how much impact they are uh, giving to the uh, environment as well as the human value. So, uh, prior to Bhopal, the Sueso accident uh, was termed as the most dangerous and disastrous accident in terms of toxicology. Now, it was uh, uh, a dioxin uh, pollution and took place in Italy in 1976. So, let us have a brief uh, history about uh, that particular plant and accident and uh, then we will carry out uh, the accident analysis uh, in terms of case study. Now, this is an extremely serious accident, this was an extremely serious accident occurred in 1976 in a small chemical plant located not far from Milan. Now, it is known as uh, the Sueso disaster because uh, Sueso was the most affected community at the point of time. Now, this uh, industrial plant was uh, owned by a company called ICMESA sometimes referred as MESA. Now, industry chemi made our society is the uh, Aginoria. Now, this is uh, a, subs a subsidiary of an Italian company which in turn was a subsidiary of Hoffman La Roche. The plant was uh, built many years before the accident and uh, it was involved in the manufacturing of uh, dioxins. So, uh, the due to a mechanical failure, the temperature uh, uh, rose to around 300 degrees Celsius and the relief valve eventually opened and 6 ton of material, this including 1 kilogram, almost 1 kilogram of uh, TCDD that is uh, called tetrachlorodibenzodioxine, uh, they were all content were released to the atmosphere and uh, they spread around 18 kilometer square square kilometer area. So, these dogs dioxins are extremely dangerous to mankind. So, these they first came to widespread public notice during the Vietnam war when it was identified as a component of the defoliant agent orange and previously the substance had been banned from uh, agricultural use because of uh, its alleged toxic effect on humans. So, people were very much aware about uh, the severity of that particular chemical. Now, uh, this Sueso, Italy, it is uh, 15 miles uh, from Milan. Now, a white cloud drifted uh, from the chemical site uh, worked to the township. So, that depends on the wind direction at the time of the release. Now, they occurred in a small chemical plant before the start of the weekend. 
and uh, trichlorophenol synthesis uh, become the runaway reaction. So, it is uh, 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 so some sort of uh, uh, thermal runaway reaction. This caused the increase in the temperature as well as the pressure and uh, just to relieve the system the safety wall broken down and release the chemical into the environment. So, this uh, particular substance was TCDD. 2376 uh, tetrachlorodibenzoparadioxin. Now, again, there was a lack of a communication between the plant officials uh, and uh, local authorities. So, they first noticed when the animal uh, tend to die and the people fell in. However, please remember that there was no death directly attributed to TCDD. So, uh, uh, if you recall the previous statement made by me in the, at the start of this lecture, they may not have a, a immediate uh, effect in terms of a fatality, but it may have uh, some sort related to the, the uh, occupational illness or illness and they may have a long term impact to the society. So, coming back to the nothing, the product was uh, uh, hexachlorophene, a bacteriocyte which uh, trichlorophenol produ uh, produced as an intermediate. The uh, when you are having a very controlled things in your uh, in, in your hand and you are strictly following the chemical kinetics suggested by the engineers, so normal operation it produces a very small quantity of TCDD as an undesirable side product. Now this is uh, uh, the TCDD is the most potent toxin known to man. It is insolu insoluble in water and decom decontamination is uh, extremely difficult. Now, in the subsequent side, we will discuss that uh, how we can decontaminate this particular TCDD from any process plant. Now, let us have a discussion about uh, the process. The process which gave rise to the accident was the production of 245 trichlorophenol TCP this is in a batch reactor. Now, this uh, trichlorophenol uh, is required to for making the bacteriostatic agent called hexachlorophene. Now, the company used to manufacture this trichlorophenol uh, to avoid any kind of impurities. Now, this process involved two stages. The stage 1, uh, the alkaline hydrolysis of 1245 tetrachlorobenzene referred as TCB. Uh, using sodium hydroxide environment. Now, the reaction mixture also contains some xylene. So, you can see this this is the um, reaction uh, mechanism uh, 1245 tetrachlorobenzene in presence of uh, NaOH at the temperature of 135 to 170 degree Celsius. Uh, it gives rise to uh, this. Uh, uh, then the second uh, stage, the sodium trichlorophenate, this was the sodium trichlorophenate, sodium trichlorophenate. This was acidified to, uh, with HCl to give the trichlorophenol TCP. So, uh, this is the reaction uh, formula for the generation of a TCDD. Now, uh, there were certain uh, mandatory steps uh, involved in that particular production line. So, after stage 1, that is this one stage, this stage, after stage 1, 50 percent of ethylene glycol used to distill off and the temperature of uh, reaction mixture needs to lower down to uh, 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, it is uh, 50 to 50 degrees to 60 degrees Celsius by the addition of water. Now, excess water uh, usually removed by the xylene through the agiotropic distillation. So, in the process, uh, the formation of small quantities of TCDD as byproduct is unavoidable. So, at a reaction temperature below 180 degrees Celsius, it is 180 degrees Celsius the amount formed would be unlikely to exceed 1 ppm of TCP. Now, if you go on uh, the prolonged heating in the temperature range of 230 to uh, 260 degrees Celsius, uh, 
it could increase the thousand times. So, during the manufacturing or during the process nearly 99.7 percent of TCD formed concentrated in the distillation residues and incinerated. Now, only 1.3 percent, 0.3 percent found its way into TCP. Now, let us have a brief look about uh, the, the reactor. The reactor was 13,875 liter of vessel with an agitator uh, and a steam jacket and there was no automatic control for heating. The reactor assembly was provided with a rupture disc and uh, venting direct to atmosphere. So, that was uh, you can say uh, lacuna in that particular process. So, this is you can see the, the rupture disc and which is exposed to the atmosphere. The prime purpose of disc uh, was to prevent the over pressure. Now, the system had an, an incinerator for the destruction of hazardous plant residue at temperature 80, 800 to 1000 degrees Celsius. So, they properly knew the fact that uh, this TCDD is having problematic approach. So, they were the plant was equipped with the, uh, the destruction, destruction uh, facilities uh, which was maintained at 800 to 1000 degrees Celsius. Now, let us have a uh, look about the abridged MSDS of this TCDD. Now, this is 2378 tetrachlorodibenzene paradioxine having the formula uh, like this. This is uh, most toxic of all dioxins. So, 80 percent of emission comes from burning organics in presence of a chlorine. Now, this is a fat soluble highly susceptible to bioaccumulation. So, sometimes it may mm, de uh, deposit in, in, uh, in the fatty tissues of your body. So, that is why I am saying that uh, this uh, uh, the problem may come later on. Mm, you may not observe the immediate problem, but uh, the health issues may come on later on because this is uh, fat soluble and highly susceptible for the bioaccumulation. Now, there are certain symptoms of exco um, exposure. This includes the, uh, the chloracne, the damage to the immune system, pancreas, etc., because it is a fat soluble tissue. Um, a teratogen, sometimes it may lead to the carcinogenic ability. Then, this TCDD can be taken into the body by injection, inhalation, or skin contact. So, which we had a discussion in uh, the in industrial hygiene. In, uh, chapter. Now, this uh, TCDD has the minimum lethal dose of uh, 3.1 into 10 to the power minus 9 moles per kilogram. So, you can see that uh, how dangerous it is. Now, re this resistant to the destruction by the incineration except at a very high temperature that is why they maintained the, the destruction temperature at 800 to 1000 degrees Celsius. Now, there were CV, uh, previous incident uh, um, involved the TCDD. In 1949, Monsanto uh, USA, they had a large release uh, from a pressurized reactor and uh, 228 people, they were affected. Remember, uh, we are talking about the immediate illness, immediate uh, um, fatality, etc. So, they, some of them may have the long term problem. So, th those might have reported or not that is a big issue. So, in 1953 BASF the Germany they 42 people they were affected. In 1960 Dow Chemicals, uh, in 1963 Philips Dufar Netherlands a reaction run away on the pressurized TCP reactor and 30 people they were affected and 2 died within 2 years of the accident. So, you can see that uh, uh, the result uh, or of this uh, body intake came after 2 years. So, in 1968, coalite chemical production UK plant exploded and 79 affected. In 1970, Bayer plant overheating, 5 people they were affected. Uh, now, let us have event of uh, sequential event of uh, this particular incident. The start of the batch took place uh, at around 4 pm on Friday, 9 July 1976. The reaction was charged with 2000 kilogram of TCB. 1050 kilogram of sodium hydroxide, 3300 kilogram of ethylene glycol and 600 kilogram of xylene. So, after the reaction uh, part uh, of ethylene distilled off, the fraction removed was only 15 percent instead of 50 percent which was desired. 
So that was the first instance when the people committed mistake. Uh, so when uh, you you are having lesser number uh, quantity of uh, the material removed, then the most of the solvent was left in the vessel, and distillation was interrupted at 5 a.m. on 10th July 1976. Now this heating was discontinued. Uh, but water was not added to cool the reaction mass. Again, that was a sheer negligence. Uh, so, the re because uh, the water was not added, so reactor was not brought down to 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. And uh, the temperature recorded uh, was switched off and the last temperature was recorded at uh, 158 degrees Celsius. Remember the shift was ended uh, at 6 am closer to the plant uh, for the weekend and that is why uh, lesser number of people were affected by this uh, discharge. Now the reactor was uh, left with the agitation turned off uh, but without any action to reduce the temperature of the charge. So on 10th July around 12.30 pm uh, the bursting disc on the reactor ruptured. Then the maintenance staff, those who were present on site, heard a whistling sound and a cloud of vapor was seen to issue from a vent on the roof giving rise to the formation of a dense cloud. So the release, because the reactor was a very small size, so uh, the quantity of the release was very small. So the release lasted for some about 20 minutes and then uh, a maintenance foreman who was passing heard the disc rupture because a, a, a huge sound was there. So he ran to the boiler room to start up the large fire water pump. So an hour after the release began, the workers were able to admit the cooling water to the reactor system. Now since uh, uh, the reactant contents was not brought down to 50 percent, so thermal runaway reaction was uh, promoting at the time of uh, um, uh, shift uh, when, when the shift was over. So that was the re, uh, thing when why the pressure was continuously built up and the rupture disc was filled. And uh, again the, this, this was the main chemical kinetics who suggested the formation of uh, uh, minimum TCDD within the reactor mass. Then uh, once it was uh, escaped or uh, the, uh, there was a release of uh, TCDD, then the people started the various safety measures, they started the cleanup activities and the restoration activities. So the safety measures taken by the company and authorities uh, was, uh, were badly coordinated, there, there was a lot of communication gap between these two. Uh, uh, bodies. So, at least a week passed before it was publicly stated that a dioxin pollution occurred and another week passed before the evacuation began. So, you can imagine that uh, uh, for almost 7 days the people were continuously under the exposure of this TCDD. So, within days a total 3300 animals were found dead and mostly poultry and uh, rabbits. Uh, then uh, the authorities ordered the emergency slaughtering of uh, those animals. Uh, now they, it was just to prevent the TCDD from entering into the food chain. And in 19, up to 1978, over 80,000 animals uh, had been slaughtered. So you can um, anticipate or you can imagine that how, what was the gravity of that particular uh, incident. The contaminated area was divided into various zones uh, like uh, A, B and R in the decreasing order of uh, surface uh, soil concentration of uh, TCDD. Now zone A that is the closest to the plant uh, was completely evacuated and fenced and 1600 people of all ages had been examined. The local population was advised not to touch or eat locally grown fruits or vegetables. So they have anticipated that the TCDD may enter into the fruits or vegetables also. Now uh, many people they were found to suffer uh, from skin uh, diseases. So zone A had a TCDD soil concentration of greater than 50 microgram per square meter and about 700 residents they were directly affected. So this is 
uh, the zone A and this is the zone B and this one is the green colored is zone R. Now the zone B this one this zone B had a TCDD soil concentration between 5 to 50 microgram per square meter and about 47 residents uh, 4700 residents they were affected. Now this green colored zone this is called the zone R or sometimes res, uh, referred as the respect zone this had a T TCDD uh, soil concentration of less than 5 microgram per square meter and about uh, 31,800 residents they were affected. Now, two months after the disaster, uh, the Italian government they granted a loan of uh, 40 billion lira. Lira, the time uh, when the incident took place, was the name of the currency which was there in Italy. Italy. Now, it, nowadays it is a euro. So, they have sanctioned a loan to the region uh, to finance the necessary measures in 1978 and government raised its special loan from 40 billion to 115 billion lira just to decontaminate and to perform the various restoration activities uh, within this uh, particular arena. Now, six months uh, after uh, the accident, uh, the decontamination work uh, begin to enable the resumption of uh, productive activities uh, not within the plant but uh, outside the other activities. So, more than one year after the accident uh, the decontamination work of zone A this one was completed and government decided to demolish to demolish most heavily contaminated houses and rebuild. So, the, all the debris they were sent to um, some safe location to decontaminate them also. Now, waste from the cleanup uh, activities uh, containing chemical residues uh, and uh, protecting cloth uh, protecting clothings were stored in the containment tanks designed for the storage of uh, nuclear waste. So, you can imagine that uh, how serious they were at the moment and uh, just the seriousness was attributed just because of the fact that uh, the TCDD is extremely dangerous to mankind. In 1982, several barrels of toxic waste left in that particular plant. So, after a series of unclear event because uh, there was so many events they are uh, within the uh, during the accident investigation the investigator found there are so many uh, events uh, they were practically not clear to them. Since uh, no fatality no proper uh, illness uh, occupational illness was reported so they left the things like unclear. So, after the series of these uh, unclear events and uh, 9 years after the disaster Roche uh, which stated that the company wanted to take the responsibility of the safe destruction of the waste, they declared that the toxic waste had all been incinerated in Switzerland. So, they transported all kind of toxic waste whatever left over within the plant. Uh, uh, maybe in terms of a raw material, maybe in terms of other contaminated debris, uh, maybe in terms of uh, a product, etc. They have taken and they have uh, stored in the containment tanks and they disposed and they have incinerated the things in the Switzerland. In um, so, government of Italy they initiated a judiciary case uh, against uh, the directors of the company. So, in 1980, the director of the production of the company was shot by a member of a terrorist organization because they thought that they committed some illegal activities because that was a failure of the, the, uh, the, pro, uh, the process protocol. So, a few months later, a compensation agreement was signed by the representatives of the region, president of uh, Italian Republic and uh, the company. The total amount of uh, that agreement was about 20 billion lira. Uh, the technical director of the company was uh, sentenced to 5 year imprisonment in the first degree trial and then had his sentence reduced to 2 years and was paroled on appeal. In this uh, particular module, uh, we have discussed about uh, uh, the happening 
in, took place in the Suezo accident. And prior to Bhopal, it was termed as the most dangerous, most devastating um, uh, accident uh, with respect to the toxicological studies. Uh, one of the major outcome of this particular uh, um, incident was uh, that uh, they, they did not follow the process protocol and uh, that outcome was that although they were having all kind of uh, safety arrangements etc., but uh, the most uh, toxic dioxin was, was escaped to the atmosphere and uh, the result was uh, that the company led to the uh, uh, closer and it took around 4 to 5 years to decontaminate the things though there was no fatality directly attributed to this one. Thank you very much.